Do you have something that you secretly love? You know what? Introverts have a bunch of things that they secretly adore too, but they might not always talk about them. According to psychologist, Dr. Mark Johnson, the reason why introverts tend to keep their hobbies and passions to themselves is that they might not feel at ease talking about them in big crowds or with people they're not too familiar with. It can be a vulnerable experience to share something that's really close to their heart, or they may just prefer to keep these activities as their own personal sanctuary. With that said, here are some things that introverts secretly love. Number one, observation. Did you know that introverts have a special way of experiencing the world? While actively engaging with the surroundings is an extrovert favorite, introverts find delight in just taking in their surroundings. Susan Cain, a renowned psychology expert and author of Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking, says that introverts are often more aware of subtle details in their environment than extroverts, which means they tend to take in more information about their surroundings and notice small details that others may miss. An introvert might easily observe a slight change in the lighting in a room or the way someone's body language shifts during a conversation. These observations can give introverts a deeper understanding of their environment and bring them a sense of happiness and wonder. But it's important to remember that not all introverts enjoy observing their surroundings in the same way. Each introvert has their unique interests and preferences. Some might prefer observing nature, while others may find joy in people watching in a bustling city. But what's crucial is respecting their need for quiet observation and giving them the space and freedom to do so. Number two, one-on-one -on -one interactions. Have you ever noticed how introverts often seem more comfortable having one-on-one -on -one conversations than being in large groups? It's because they can feel drained or overwhelmed by too much stimulation, and one-on-one -on -one interactions provide a more peaceful and connected experience for them. In fact, Sophia Demling, a well-known psychology expert and author of The Introvert's Way, living a quiet life in a noisy world, explains that introverts value these intimate conversations because they can have deeper and more meaningful discussions without the distractions of a group setting. So if you wanna connect with an introvert in a more personal way, consider having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and see how it can bring a sense of ease and comfort to you both. Number three, intellectual stimulation. Have you ever found yourself engrossed in a challenging activity that stimulated your mind and allowed you to think more critically? And this is what we call intellectual stimulation. For many introverts, this type of mental activity is even more fulfilling than social stimulation because they tend to be curious and love exploring complex ideas through deep thinking and philosophical discussions. It's a way for them to expand their cognitive abilities and broaden their perspective of the world. They often prefer activities that allow them to explore their own thoughts and ideas rather than seeking out external stimulation. This is why they often enjoy spending time alone with activities like reading and meditating. Because of their introspective nature, introverts are known to excel in activities that require deep thinking and analysis, such as research and writing. Interestingly, research has also shown that engaging in activities that challenge and stimulate the mind can have positive effects on mental health, such as reducing stress and anxiety. All in all, intellectual stimulation is a crucial part of an introvert's life that can lead to improved mental health and overall well-being. And number four, planning and organizing. Did you know that introverts tend to have a strong preference for planning and organizing? Psychologist Lori Helgo suggests that this may be because they enjoy reflecting on their thoughts and goals before taking action. For introverts, planning and organizing can offer a sense of structure and control, which can be very reassuring and satisfying. Clinical psychologist, Dr. Marty Olson Laney, in his book called The Introvert Advantage, How to Thrive in an Extrovert World, stated that introverts prefer to work alone when planning and organizing tasks so that they can focus on their ideas without distractions from social interaction. This allows them to carefully consider each step towards their goal. Additionally, planning and organizing can showcase their creativity and problem-solving abilities by approaching tasks in an organized and structured way. Overall, introverts find planning and organizing enjoyable and rewarding as it allows them to work independently and methodically towards their goal. Here's the deal. Introverts are no different than anyone else when it comes to having their own secret favorites. It's crucial that you acknowledge their boundaries and give them the room they need to recharge and enjoy their hobbies. When you do that, you can create a community that's open and welcoming to everyone, regardless of their personality type. This way, introverts can thrive and bring their unique contributions to the table. So, 
Are you an introvert too that secretly loves one of these things? If you resonate with anything we've discussed, please share your thoughts with us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Additionally, if you think someone else might benefit from this discussion, please feel free to like and share this video with them. Thank you so much for tuning in and we look forward to connecting with you again soon.